we have managed to pull off quite an impressive feat. U2513 snuck through the English Channel without being damaged or really detected at all. During our transit through the English Channel, we also torpedoed a British frigate. This is a testament to just how advanced this U-boat is. We will continue to press the attack in very dangerous waters. With 15 torpedoes left, our second patrol is far from over. U2513 is currently in grid BF-17, where the depth under our keel is over a thousand meters. I plan to take the boat into the Celtic Sea. These waters are significantly shallower than where we are currently operating. However, I hope to find many high-value targets in the area. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome to another exciting Silent Hunter 3 episode. Today we will be continuing our second patrol, and this is part 3 of that patrol. As you can see, U2513 is currently operating at around 60 meters there, and we are heading into the Celtic Sea. After going through the English Channel, and also managing to sink a frigate here near the Strait of Dover, uh, I figured let's keep testing our boat in very dangerous waters, and what better place than the Celtic Sea. And we'll also move up into the Irish Sea. I may also kind of hang around here and uh, see what is going on. I don't really want to risk going into one of these ports, but honestly sitting out here and waiting for traffic to go in and out of this area may prove to uh, yield results. Other than that, uh, we're pretty much starting right where we left off. We're currently operating at around three knots. We can probably bump that up just a little bit. Battery power is A-OK -okay and all of that good stuff. The crew is okay. We have a few men here who are a little bit tired. I've been trying to pay more attention to them uh, recently. The patrol's been going on for quite a while. When did we depart? January 29th and what is February 17th? February 21st, 1945. So yeah, we definitely, we have been at sea for quite a while here. Anyway, we will see uh, what happens here. Uh, th again, the main thing I am worried about when going into these shallow waters really is minefields. Some folks pointed out this mine chart here. Uh, however, this only shows minefields that are, you know, U-boat bases. It doesn't show any minefields around the United Kingdom or anything like that. So um, just in case you were curious about that. So we are really on our own when it comes to minefields. And honestly, mines are the scariest part about doing this. Um, I'm not too worried about destroyers. We have proven that this boat is... Uh, very very quiet it's very hard to detect um but mines man uh they scare me <laughs> i that would be a very uh, inglorious ending to the series if we just struck a mine and that was it well i was just doing a little hydrophone check here and I can very faintly hear a destroyer. What I believe to be a destroyer anyway. Turn up the volume a little bit. Yeah, it does sound like a destroyer to me. Let's let's finish our little sweep here. See if there's anything else out there. Sounds like a destroyer going maybe medium or fast speed. Oh. Okay, bearing 310 relative. Okay, let's change our course, 320. So it'll be... Uh, one, one, zero, one, zero, excuse me. True. Yeah. Let's see. Let's turn this boat around. I just uh, was snorkeling, actually, to recharge our oxygen supply. And we will... Ad Advance towards the the contact. It's getting louder. I wonder what this is. It sounds kind of big. Uh, who the heck knows? Let's increase speed to just slow, so that'll bring us up to seven knots. I wish our hydrophone operator would call this out. It's, it's right there, pal. Right there, buddy. 
Here it clears. Yeah, I think it is closing. It is getting significantly louder. We are also moving, I guess, seven knots now towards, uh, there we go. Warship medium speed closing, bearing zero, zero, zero. All right. Let's mark that. Okay, it looks like she is heading southish. Let's adjust our course. New heading zero, three, zero. And let's plot their course. Yeah, more or less like that. So I guess they're heading what, 165-ish? That works with me. And we should be able to approach their course just fine and be in a pretty good position to see what exactly this is. Uh, new heading zero seven zero. Here we go. That's looking good. That's looking pretty good. If I do say so myself. What's our range to her course? Four kilometers. Probably less. This was a little off. Okay, I think we're good. Reduce speed down to three knots. Probably also rigged for silent running, but. Probably will not be necessary here. Okay, we're down to four knots, so we can raise the periscope um, up. We are at periscope depth, up scope. Okay. Waves are pretty choppy. Okay, let's check for our friend here. There she is. It's a Corvette, okay. Not really worth uh, shooting at, really. And she's all by herself. I'm probably, I'm not gonna waste a torpedo on a Corvette. Just flip through here just to see. Flower class, yeah, 950 tons. Really not worth the uh, the torpedo. For being honest. Okay, well, down scope. Got some practice in uh, intercepting, I suppose. Down to 100 meters, and let's just turn north for the time being to kind of get out of here. Can also rig for silent running and make sure we're still down at three knots. So they don't accelerate to uh, seven. Okay, well, we're gonna let this little Corvette go on its merry way. And of course, I will keep you all updated once we have another contact. Okay, we got another warship contact, medium speed closing. That is interesting. And it looks like we will probably end up coming near her. Let's check it out just to see what this, this lone vessel is. We're already at periscope depth. Once again, I was snorkeling a little bit uh, before sunrise here. And yeah, she is definitely in visual range. Okay. You tell me where she is, hydrophone operator. I would no sound con you goofball. You know exactly where she is. Anyway, she's off to her right somewhere. Should be relatively easy. And we're going six knots. <laughs> uh, okay, reduce speed even further. Okay, we're at four knots now. It's taking some getting used to uh, this boat just being so fast, even at, you know, slow speed. Normally, in every other boat, you drop it down the slow. You don't have to worry about the periscope vibrations or anything like that, but not in this bad boy. Um, I do not. Am I, am I crazy? 
Did I miss her? All right, let's, oh, there she is. Oh, another Corvette. Although this very well could be the same Corvette, and we're just uh, in the middle of this patrol pattern. Uh, very possible. Well, we are going to lower our scope. It's a bit choppy, so I'm not worried about it being... I'm not too worried about it being picked up on radar, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Down to 80 meters, rig for silent running, and order them to still say, stay uh, going nice and slow. All right, well, lovely. We're gonna let her just pass right in front of us, really. Um, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it, the Corvette detecting us, but. Give it, give it a little bit of time compression. We'll see how she reacts. Yeah, she's just gonna pass right in front of our bow. I don't know, if we find her again, I may blow it out of the water at this point. I do have quite a few of the homing torpedoes. BDU was quite generous and gave us quite a lot. Uh, even though I didn't really change our loadout all that much, uh, this is really the default. We have one, two, three. Yeah, I guess three, uh, T5, uh, four T5 torpedoes, so we have quite a few. Oh. Uh, yeah, quite a few uh, T5 torpedoes, which is quite generous. Thank you, BDU. I do appreciate that. And I'm sure they will prove quite useful as we get into these uh, more and more dangerous waters. Well, here is something of interest, a merchant contact bearing 287, and it looks like this merchant ship is heading more or less towards us. It has not been too long since our last encounter, maybe around two hours at this point. Looks like this uh, vessel is heading east-northeast. We should be able to intercept quite easily. Let's go ahead and mark that down and plot her course. Looks like she's heading 050. Let's adjust slightly. Uh, new heading 300. Let's bump up our speed to five knots for the time being, just to try to close this gap a little bit here. Who knows, it could be just some junk, something not worth uh, firing a torpedo at, but it's always nice to investigate. Okay, things are getting a little more interesting. A warship. That flower class Corvette was heading off, or Corvette, I believe it was a flower class, I'm not sure though was heading off to the north. So I have a feeling this may be another warship. I don't think she would have gotten this far this quickly. Oh, oh okay, two warships. Okay, this is probably a different group then. Oh gosh, darn it. I did not mean to erase everything, but it is what it is. Okay, is this a group of three? That may be worth investigating. If we fire upon this merchant ship, you can bet on them uh, heading this way. This may be interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, reduce speed. We are already at PD. We should be able to spot this merchant vessel. Let's take a listen to those... Hmm. I don't know. That kind of sounds like something large. I It's hard to make out at this point. Well, we're going to see what this is. If anything, if it is a hunter-killer group what, that happens to have an aircraft carrier in it, if we sink this merchant ship and bait them over here, uh, we can have a field day. Let's make sure auto-loading is off. Okay, it is off. Because if we're going to engage a bunch of warships, I want those homing torpedoes in our tubes. What an elaborate plan. Watch this be a freaking sailboat. All right, let's take our bets real fast. A sailboat, a tugboat, or something worth shooting at. Uh, the fact that I did not see it is worrisome. It's at 320-ish. Am I insane? Yeah, it's literally right there, 320. 
Oh, wow. It is pretty far out there. Okay, it's a small little merchant ship. The tramp scene. It, it is very foggy out. Okay, I expected her to be a bit closer than that. All right, let's increase speed then and keep closing. I mean, we could probably torpedo and finish this thing off with one hit. Down scope. Let's see where these warships are going. They're kind of heading... I don't know... If it's going to be really possible to intercept them. A regular G70 torpedo. All right, new heading 290. Let's get this target speed. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna fire at this just to see what those warships do. Hopefully, they come over here and sniff us out and lay a trap. That, that's fun, right? Okay. Yeah, it's a small freighter, 2,000 tons. Should be able to take it out with one one eel, I think. Go oh, lock on target. Length is 78 meters. Okay, we're gonna keep on turning here. Uh, keep turning just a little bit more. Okay, rudder amidships. May still be... Okay, let's adjust our rudder just a little bit. We want the enemy ship to... There we go. That's better. When we time her out, we pretty much want it to be right at our bow, right at zero. Just to get an accurate speed reading here. So our speed does not throw off the reading. Okay, let's start. 78 meters, so we're going to use the green scale right here see her draft is 6.9 meters there we go we'll set it to that I gotta I gotta see come on wave okay seven knots All right adjust course three zero so 6.9 meters we'll set to 7.9 ish speed is seven knots for this target angle on bow is probably around 75 degrees to starboard and we will establish range here momentarily once we finish our turn here okay range oh we gotta identify it first there we go she is pretty close 1.2, good enough for me. Let's finish up our turn. Open tube number one. Hopefully this is all looking good. Seven knots, a little gyro angles 11 degrees, but hey, that range is actually pretty darn accurate for uh, I don't know <laughs> how poorly I, I uh, did that. Anyway, uh, one minute and 10 seconds for a runtime here. I'm curious to see if these, how long it'll take for these warships to uh, start moving full speed. I wonder how far away are they? This merchant? Nine kilometers are pretty darn close. Let's take a look here at the, the map. See our torpedo running towards a small freighter. I think this is going to be a hit. Looks like a pretty good solution to me, as long as the magnetic pistol actually goes off here. We will watch it through the attack scope. Okay, 10 impacts any second now. Torpedo traffic. Right in the middle, hell yeah. That was good. Uh-oh, that gun. 
It's probably firing a star shell behind us. Yep, there it is. This blind all of you. Alright, I don't think she is recovering from that. No, sir. No, no dramatic fires or anything breaking out on the deck. We, you know, these merchant ships have not been very dramatic, this patrol. <laughs> I got to admit. All right, down scope. That's okay. Let's see, are they coming? Oh, hell yeah, they are. Okay, here's what we want to do. Oh, boy, everyone's gotten tired in the meantime. Anyway, uh, I don't care. Load that torpedo. Let's switch out some of these men here. Merchant ship should probably go down on her own. Yeah, uh, those uh, warships are coming this way. We'll see what they are. And if it's nothing worth shooting at, then we will uh, we will run away. No questions asked. Well, all the warships are looking around over there. Honestly, it looks like a couple of frigates and maybe a four-stagger destroyer. Nothing too exciting, to be honest. Hmm. Kind of hoping there'd be a it'd be a hunter killer group with an aircraft carrier, but obviously it was not. It's still cool to see them uh, chasing me <laughs> way over there, and you know I'm just I'm just sitting over here watching. <laughs> it is kind of entertaining, I must admit. That merchant ship honestly looks okay. Uh, she may have slowed down. Oh, well, she's not kicking up any wake or anything like that. She may be dead in the water at this point. Oh, there's a star shell. Uh, nice try, Tommies. Well, I don't think I'm going to waste our uh, T5 torpedoes on this, but it is interesting to kind of see this. And uh, I still think that merchant ship will end up going down. Well, anyway, I'm going to drop my scope. We're going to keep with the merchant ship and watch her go down. And um, yeah, it was uh, it was cool to see these guys come and chase me after I hit her. But we'll see. I don't think they're going to end up picking us up. They're pretty far away already. Let's just yeah, uh, around four, three to four kilometers away. And this boat is quiet. We can get the hell out of Dodge if we really need to. Well, it looks like the warships have, in fact, given up on the chase. It was quite entertaining just to see them squirm. I contemplated firing uh, just one homing torpedo into the mix, but I, I want to save them in the off chance we do come across a hunter-killer group with a carrier. Um, I'd rather use them for that purpose. Oh, I'm going to try to be a little, a little picky when it comes to uh, those homing torpedoes at this point. But this was this has been interesting, and yeah, I'm not even. I don't know. Maybe I should be worried about these guys, but I'm I'm really not, <laughs> to be honest. This merchant ship is dead in the water. I think she's taking on water very slowly. I don't know if she'll actually go down. Um, we'll see. I'd really rather not fire another torpedo into this thing, but uh, we may have to here. Do I have another T3? Just a regular boring old. T3 torpedo. I have a T1 fat one. I may lob one of those. I may want load one of those in the tube and fire it at her. But uh, yeah, she's just dead in the water here. We'll see if she goes down. We'll wait a few more hours. But those warships are now vacating the area. Well, with those uh, warships now out of the area, I think I am going to fire one more fish just to finish this cargo ship off and send her down to the bottom. I think she will go down eventually. However, uh, she is taking her sweet time, and it's already been a few hours. It's currently 625 local, or base time, actually. It's 525 local time. Now, I want to finish this ship off and get on out of here. So, tube 5, we are going to go ahead and fire open the tube and let it go and that'll be another ship uh, 
sent to the bottom. Yep, looking pretty good. And it looks like that's yeah, going to hit pretty much where I wanted it to, towards the bow there. And this was a G7A torpedo. You can see the bubble trail there, but hopefully the pistol goes off. Indeed, it did. And hopefully. I'll punch another pretty large hole in the bottom of her keel, and that'll force her to go down here. Another star shell's being launched. That's lovely. But I don't think they are going to last much longer with two torpedoes. It's a fairly small ship, but definitely a tough one. Oh, the merchant ship has gone down. We are going to continue on our course and continue up into the Celtic Sea here. I did get a comment. Someone said, uh, why are you wasting your torpedoes on small merchant ships like this? But the fact that we are even sinking as much as we are is just completely unrealistic. <laughs> and I don't think a U-boat commander at this point in the war would be all that picky um, considering the, you know, situation of uh, what is going on and what has happened over the course of the Battle of the Atlantic. And also, the uh, it's February 22nd. Uh, the war is about to end, really. So I want to try to sink as much as I can, even if it is just a small merchant ship. So um, I know that kind of contradicts what I was saying about using the T5 torpedoes against the carriers. But honestly, if we don't find a carrier you know, soon, then I'm just going to lob those at any other destroyer. But... Yeah, that's kind of my justification for sinking quote-unquote small ships because, like I said, I don't think a U-boat commander would be that picky. Anyway, that's all I really have for now. We're going to continue heading up into the Celtic Sea and uh, see what we find up here. Okay, we've just picked up our first ship since our sinking here, a warship, medium speed, moving away. I'm not too worried about it at all, but let's just see. Yeah, it looks like it's heading up north-ish, so not really a concern, but I figured I would mention it. We are getting closer and closer. We're in pretty shallow waters here, um, and if this warship wasn't here, I would check depth under keel. However, we are going to avoid that for the time being, uh, but I am curious to see how shallow it is here. There are some deeper water pockets uh, sp you know, spread out around here, so we're going to try to stick to those for the most part. Um, but I figured I would mention this as this is the first vessel we have picked up. Okay, we have a warship closing in that may actually end up being a threat here. It is coming directly for us, actually. Let's turn towards it. Just to see and take a look through our attack scope here. Nice and early in the morning. There she is. Looks like a hunt class ashore to me. Medium speed closing. Let's change course slightly. I think uh, this would be a fine target. Hunt classes are what, 900 tons? If I remember correctly, somewhere around that range. Not huge, but uh, this one's close enough, I think, to warrant uh, 
Oh, a thousand tons. Yeah. Okay. Up go. Which one is our homing torpedo? We have four of them. So, okay. Two, three. Yeah. Lock. She's probably going over 10 knots. We'll just put it at 10 knots. Hopefully the homing torpedo will pick her up. Oh. Okay. Open tube three. All right, let's, uh, let's just, let's just try this, shall we? Close. All right. Torpedo away. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, it looks like the torpedo is homing in. And we'll see here. Boom! Oh boy. <laughs> Well, I have to admit, I think that was a good use of a homing torpedo. That explosion was quite uh, satisfactory. <laughs> and uh, you can see the oil just burning on the surface of the water there. Well, good thing we have uh, quite a few more of those. Let's go ahead and start loading one in, but I think that is a solid way to conclude an episode. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.